Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about the installation process of OnCloud. OnCloud is a cloud-based storage solution, pretty much like Dropbox, Google Drive and the like. The main difference between these solutions and OnCloud is where the data is stored. So in products like Dropbox, the data is stored in the servers of the service provider. So if you're using OneDrive, for example, the data is stored in Microsoft servers. With OnCloud, on the other hand, you're using your own server. So we're talking about local storage. As for pricing, with Dropbox and the like, you get a few gigabytes for free, but you have to pay if you want more. With OnCloud, you're only limited by the storage capacity of your server. Notice that if your server is behind the router, it will only be accessible in the local network. To have public access to the data, the server must have a public IP. Okay, let's move on to the installation itself. Luckily, the guys from OnCloud made a really detailed installation guide, which we are going to use, but Unfortunately, this guide is for Ubuntu servers, and in this tutorial, I want to focus on Debian servers. But the differences are really small, and I'll make it very clear when we will get to these differences. Okay, I have the installation page open. I leave a link in the video description below, and let's log in to the server via SSH. Now, a lot of the commands that we are going to use require root privileges. So instead of using sudo every single time, I'm just going to sudo bash. And now we're running everything as root, so it should save us some headache. Okay, we're starting by updating our system. They now create a helper script that will be useful later on. And let's make it executable. We now need a whole bunch of required packages and we're going to install them all at once. We now need some more packages that were apparently removed from the Ubuntu repository, but they are available in Debian 10, so we can just install them. And let's configure Apache and its file structure. We now need to create the MySQL database. Here in the guide, they use password as their password for their database, but I strongly recommend that you choose something more secure than password. Okay, let's download OnCloud itself. And we now want to install it. Notice that since I changed the database password, I need to let OnCloud know what the correct password is. So I'll copy the next command to a temporary text file, so it's easier to edit it. Now 
Moreover, we need to create an administrator. That's the user that can create normal users and determine how OnCloud is configured. I'll call my administrator user Elmo. Great, OnCloud was successfully installed, let's move on. And let's set up the needed cron jobs. And we need a few more commands to wrap up the installation. And we're finally done. OnCloud is installed and supposed to be accessible. Let's try to access it from the browser and the address is the service IP. Make sure that you're using HTTP and not HTTPS because we didn't set up SSL on the server Great, and we can see the OnCloud login page. Right now we only have one user, that's Elmo, our administrator. So let's log in as administrator. And we logged in. If you want a quick getting started tutorial for OnCloud configuration and usage, I'm planning to make one soon, so I'll add a link to it. That would be all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.